Uh, there is a two-player versus mode, and I think you can even get four players, so that's fun. And just go at it, go at each other. What is up with what is up with the lighting in this? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to change that in editing uh, somehow. Hope my capture card is working okay. But yeah, I'm pretty much doing this for um, in honor of uh, the Godzilla movie that just came out, which isn't doing super hot, unfortunately, at the box office. But at the time of this recording, I'm gonna go. I want to go see it again. So. Cool. Can I also say that Gigan is one of my favorite monsters from the series? I like his original uh, version, but I also like his uh, his appearance in Godzilla: Final Wars. He's pretty silly looking, but I need to watch. I need to watch the first film he appeared in. Uh, I've seen Godzilla vs. Megalon, and that's fun. That's the one with Jet Jaguar. And he is not in this game, but he's also cool. But you know, all things considered, I think this is probably the first solid Godzilla game to make its way definitely the first one to make its way to American Shores I really do enjoy this game and there's a lot I think this was developed in I think Pipework Studios is an American company but even so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of western love for Godzilla for such a, for such a, for such a Japanese property Dodge, no, okay. And also you have different things like um, the uh, different armies of the world um, impacting the fight in some way. That's cool. That's neat. Are we almost near the end? Oh, yeah. So you get a lot of different uh, arenas based on real world cities and you also have Monster Island from the older movies. That's cool. No! <laughs> I would call this, yeah, I would call this game one of the more better kaiju games ever to be made. I think it's pretty cool. Even though I'm not winning at the moment. I'm really not winning at the moment. Oh no. Whoop. And sometimes you can see like UFOs uh, come down and shoot at the monsters. That's cool. Aliens don't, extraterrestrials don't automatically make a story better, but they can when done correctly. And also with this stage and another stage later on, you can unlock you can destroy different parts of the environment and uh, unlock different places. No. No! Don't shoot at me. What? Uh, as far as sequels go this was followed by Godzilla save the earth for ps2 and xbox and uh Godzilla um unleashed for ps2 and Wii and from what I understand parts of the original development team have been trying 
to make more kaiju games with this similar engine. Which is cool. Special move! But I can't think of any really good kaiju games that have come out this decade. Or maybe I'm... Or maybe I don't know of any. I guess giant robot games sort of count. Gotta have giant robots. Monsters fight. Um, this game does feature a lot of different monsters um, from like the 60s up to the 90s. Like you have Destroyer here um, in its adult form. Come. And he appeared in, like, this 1995 film, Godzilla vs. Destiny. Yeah. And that's neat. And I'm getting my butt handed to me. McFreakin'. And I can hardly see anything at night at this night time. I have to check my capture card. See what I'm doing wrong. Can't really combo. <laughs> Woo! Lasers! But I would recommend this game to any uh, Kaiju or Godzilla fan of any kind. Because it's pretty dang solid. I enjoy it a lot. Even though it's kind of dated in some aspects. But, you know. A lot of things can be dated. But you can still enjoy them. And I don't want to redo this match again. So come over here, you big... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> dead. Godzilla's dead. We'll try it again. And you do get three tries in the arcade slash adventure mode. So it's cool. And I think the developers you, uh, really took their time to make every monster feel unique. In a sense. Have a unique move set based on what they can do. No, don't summon Mothra. I want to summon Mothra, you moth dude. Sometimes grabbing, sometimes grabbing stuff uh, like small buildings and other material is hard. A little bit comp, a little bit wonky in this game, but. I'm not doing so. <laughs> I'm playing the I'm playing this adventure mode on easy, by the way. And even then, it can get. Oh, I just bumped the mic. I'm so sorry. Even then, it can get pretty difficult. That must have sounded great. It must have been the funnest sound. The most fun you could hear you heard all day. Just <laughs> Let's finish this guy, shall we? There we go. Ah. 